friends, welcome back. Hannah here, and if you are new, welcome to my page. All right, so I am all about one pot meals to just make it so easy when it comes to cooking dinner, meal prepping, having maybe lunch and dinner for the next day for Nick and myself. So I'm going to show you today a three ingredient pot roast recipe. And when I think of pot roast, I usually think, ew. Ew, nope. Done. Really, I never liked pot roast growing up as a kid, ever. And then when I started counting macros, I was like, well, I don't want pot roast. I also call it chuck roast because it's so high in fat. And like, how am I gonna count it? How am I gonna count it? But in this recipe today, I'm gonna show you how I make it as well as how I count it in my macros. It's so easy, you guys. And it's one of the best pot roast slash chuck roast recipes you will ever have. And I guarantee it. Okay, I'm a dodo. I forgot the main ingredient, which was the chuck roast. So four ingredients. But I think you can handle it. Okay, friends, you're looking at it. All you need is one packet of ranch seasoning, one packet of Italian seasoning, one packet of brown gravy seasoning with your chuck roast. You're just going to mix those three ingredients up with half cup to three fourth cups water. I already have one in the crock pot I'm gonna show you. I'm making another one for a friend. Once you mix all those up, all you're gonna do is pour it over the roast, let it cook for four to six hours and wait. You're probably thinking, wait, Hannah, what about the, the potatoes, the carrots? Whatever vegetables you usually have with a roast. I did not forget, I learned from a friend who's very good at cooking that if you cook the roast separate by itself and don't throw the vegetables in there with it, it leaves all the flavor for the meat alone. Well, my friend is 100% correct. So what I do, I'll show you this later on. I take a bunch of red potatoes, I cube them up and just bake them on a pan for a huge pan for about 30 minutes. If you want them a little crispier, longer. I like to put salt, pepper, garlic on them. Like I said, I'll share with you later how I do that. And then I also roast carrots separately by themselves for about 20 minutes. And then when the roast is ready, you will simply break it up because you can seriously pull it apart with a spoon. You're gonna scoop the roast over your vegetables with the all the juice, the extra juice you get from the roast, and it is amazing. All right, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like now. I just put it in, it's gonna cook for about four hours. I poured the juice over and just wait. All right, you guys, it has been about five hours since I put the roast in the crock pot and I highly recommend at minimum cooking it for six hours. If you do it for four, it may still be tough. And the key also, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is make sure that it's a chuck roast. Chuck roast is like my by far favorite, especially with this recipe. Mmm, it smells so good. Show you how you can literally pull it apart with a fork. And just because I knew that we would be obviously eating soon, I went ahead and started the potatoes. So like I said, I cut up red potatoes, cubed them up, spray the pan, put salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder on them, and then bake them for about 30 minutes at 450 degrees. And then I will throw the carrots on the same pan or in a different pan and cook those for about mm, 15 minutes and roast them. As it is to make these potatoes, they are absolutely amazing. And then carrots, just sad looking pan of carrots. And just like that, you have a whole dinner ready for your family or just yourself and have it for the next few days, you guys. You cannot mess that one up. It is too easy. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see, let me know, drop any comments below. But that's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.